I forgot and left mine at home. Where is Cool Cat versus Coronavirus? My magic sauce! Are you doing a bacon switch on us, Matt? my anniversary. There were some movies, terrible movies, movies so awful, no one would touch. Then came a Matt, sad little Matt. Matt then decided these movies to watch. Today's episode, Cool Cat Fights Coronavirus. <sighs> Hello, Internet. I'm called... Holy fuck! 2016 was five years ago! And in honor of five years of service, I decided it was time to take a look back on the ongoing Cool Cat Saga. As I said in the Gun Self-Defense for Ladies video, Derek Savage is the type of guy who thinks he can solve every problem, which I suppose is noble, but it's fueled by an undue amount of ego, so it tends not to work. This led him to develop a short film regarding safety around the COVID-19 pandemic of 2020, which he got out just in time for everyone to get the vaccine and the pandemic to basically be over. Seriously, watching this with my friends was one of the first things I did after getting vaccinated. And unfortunately, due to Derek's falling out with Cool Cat actor Jason Johnson, he has taken over the voices of both Cool Cat and his new nemesis Dirty Dog, who I assume exists to fill Butch the Bully's role, but you know, played by Derek Savage. I mean, I do understand wanting all of the characters in your personal project to be played by you, because it makes scheduling way easier. But at least I've still got Bad the Bully. No way, fool! It's me, the new bully! Cool Cat! This is Cool Cat Fights Coronavirus. I want to give a quick mention to how ugly this DVD menu is, but I expect nothing less from Derek. The opening is pretty epic, mostly because Derek didn't make it. We start off with our introduction to Dirty Dog, who I guess confirms this is sort of a BoJack-type universe with multiple anthro-animals. This suit is not near as well made as the Cool Cat one, though. He informs us he's gonna give all the kids coronavirus, because he's a fucking psychopath. I'm Dirty Dog! And I'm gonna pollute all the kids with coronavirus! And... We need to talk about this right up at the top. I have no idea what it is Dirty Dog actually believes. He's apparently supposed to represent the anti-corona crowd. You know, the anti-maskers, the anti-vaxxers, the people who think it's a Chinese hoax. You know, dipshits, conspiracy nuts, that type. But he also apparently wants to infect everyone with the virus which would seem to indicate he knows the virus is real. However, his motivations for wanting to infect everyone are completely unclear. He's just fucking evil, like past the point of being a bully and just being an active menace to society. But there I go trying to add logic to a Derek Savage project. And Derek seems to have downgraded to a one-bedroom apartment. What idiot tries to film things in a one-bedroom apartment? Now, the rip I have of the movie plays Derek's dialogue fine. But thanks to how shoddy this DVD is, it sounds like this on my TV. What are you doing? I love 
the boogie woogie! Y'all ever just walk outside and scream? I love to boogie woogie. So, one of the Kickstarter rewards was getting your picture in the movie, and, uh, massive props to this fucking dude. Although you could read it as more world-building, this isn't a furry, this is a real wolf dude who lives in the Cool Cat universe. Also, this is the sloppiest way to integrate that Kickstarter reward. And look, it's the flowers he taped to the wall for his Easter message. And unlike the sheep who watch lamestream media, Cool Cat only listens to reliable sources. Our state has had a massive increase in coronavirus cases. My best friend even caught coronavirus. We're introduced to two little rat-haired girls, Angela and Brittany. Do not ask me which one is which, the movie never clarifies. Who are scared of coronavirus, so they go ask Cool Cat for help. But what should we do? I know! We should go and find Cool Cat and see what he thinks! I know when I'm looking for information, I always ask my creepy neighbor. They actually just evicted him. You might be able to hear them repairing his apartment after he left. Also, this is clearly still Derek's apartment. A and what is this filter? I've heard of day for night, but never day for day. Anyways, Cool Cat tells them to wash their hands with soap for 20 seconds. So, either they go back inside and do that, or they just imagine they're doing it and this is a fantasy sequence? And the implication is the latter. And the social distance a few feet apart. You know, like you aren't doing right now, nor at any point in this fucking movie. Credit where it's due, Cool Cat explains that a mask needs to cover your nose and mouth, something a lot of adults couldn't seem to figure out. But of course they ruin that too. I forgot and left mine at home. And uh, yeah, he gets out all the important COVID information in about two minutes. Kinda seems like you didn't need a whole short film for this, you could've just made it a quick YouTube video. But then we'd miss out on all this great dirty dog lore. So that's where that ugly cat and his rat hair friends are. Oh man, his dialogue is just as blunt and ridiculous as Butch's, but it's not nearly as silly. Like, this? Ha ha ha! I'm so mean! Is no... I love being a boy! Also, he's apparently, like, a couple yards from them, so they should probably be able to hear everything he says. You throw like a sissy girl! Daddy Dogs was like a girl! That's pretty sexist, Cool Cat. Girls are my friends. And now Cool Cat's gonna rap a song. Except he isn't. Smart kids know! It's cool to wash your hands! Wash there for 20 seconds is all a rapper should do! A good night's sleep is all so important just to keep you healthy. He's not on beat, he's got no sense of rhythm, he's not even rhyming most of the time. This isn't a coronavirus rap, this is coronavirus slam poetry. Oh, and there's a line in here about how cool Cool Cat Saves the Kids is. Cool Cat Saves the Kids is an awesome movie. It's full of action and it's the coolest kids film. Even his rap song has an ad in it. Ha ha ha! I'm such a mean bully! You know, if you were actually a mean bully, you probably wouldn't say you were a mean bully. In fact, most bullies tend to try to deny that they're bullies. Anyway, now for Dirty Dogs Rap. Coronavirus is a scam. All the smart dogs know coronavirus is a scam. But some people are sheep and let the media and politicians lie to them. I'm the smartest dog and I don't believe in them. But kids all weak and they're easy to scare. And I'll give props to whoever's in that dirty dog costume. He's got moves. The rap still sucks, though. Kids are so dumb, and adults are too. Well, actually, yeah, can't argue with that. Although, this does raise a bit of a point. 
he never presents any evidence that coronavirus isn't a scam. Now, granted, if you're the slightest bit curious, it takes no effort at all to find mountains of evidence that it does. Hell, by the time this movie came out, you probably knew someone who had coronavirus. But if you're gonna present this side, maybe explain why it's wrong? But buckle up, cause shit's about to go off the rails. Now I just need to catch one. Yeah! I caught a coronavirus, and now I need to add my magic sauce! I can't believe it! It actually worked! Thank you, witch dog, for the evil magical power! I, uh, Sturdy Dog has magic sauce he got from a witch dog, and she gave him evil magic powers. I, uh, hmm, I don't know what to say to that. This film has transcended satire. I can't think of a way to make fun of it. You win, Derek! You win! And then Cool Cat teaches us how to defeat coronavirus. By punching it. And remember that people have different opinions on this coronavirus. So always respect them. Um, no? I mean, first off, that's not at all the message of this movie. Your COVID denier is a psychopath who wants to kill children? You cannot argue you were trying to show both sides here. But second off, and much more importantly, COVID is a real, actual, scientific thing. People cannot have different opinions on it. We're dealing with real, objective facts. You believe in COVID, or you're fucking wrong. And then these girls just break CDC guidelines. Although I suppose Cool Cat did just eliminate coronavirus forever by punching it. We have breaking news. It's been reported that Cool Cat fought the coronavirus and won. Cool Cat is a hero to all children. And we love you, Cool Cat. And then just to prove he's truly a genocidal maniac, Dirty Dog threatens to shoot up Cool Cat School, setting up for the much-anticipated Cool Cat Stops a School Shooting. And that's Cool Cat Saves Coronavirus. It's, what do you expect me to say about it, man? It's, uh... It's Cool Cat, that's for sure. The COVID stuff is mostly irrelevant to the story here, and much like Gun Self-Defense for Ladies, it's mostly stuff you should already know. But god damn, that lore. I, I can't believe Derek continues to find ways to make Cool Cat more ridiculous. You'd think eventually he'd reach the boiling point, but no, this shit gets crazier and crazier. This short film is on YouTube, and it is well worth your time. Just... Don't expect any good coronavirus info from it. And, uh, don't forget to check out my coverage of the full Derek Savage saga. What'd you think of that, cruel cat? That stank! And I feel like rapping a song! I don't believe in coronavirus. I'm gonna give you coronavirus. I hope you catch it and then you die. You'll die of a disease that doesn't exist. Word to your mother. Is that it? Nope. Now I'm gonna use my magic sauce on you. Hey, that's pretty good. What is this, barbecue sauce? Yeah, it's an old family recipe. The secret is just the right amount of brown sugar. Hey, who told you you could bully people around here? Ah, bad the bully. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, fuck him up, bad. I got this, babe. Cool cat? More like dumb cat.
Well, bad. You're vaccinated, right? Yeah. Well, bad. I think we learned a valuable lesson. Bullies are ugly and have no friends. And I bet if we hurry, we can throw these rocks at him. Hello. Ow! Coronavirus! Ow! It's a scam! Ow! All cool kids really love me! I keep them safe from the bullies out there! Cool Cat Saves the Kids is an awesome movie. It's full of action and it's the coolest kids film. I'm Cool Cat and I'm the coolest cat. I got the righteous safety tip. I'm Cool Cat and I'm the coolest cat. All rappers know I got the righteous safety tip. This is scary. I don't want to catch coronavirus and get sick. Me neither. But what should we do? I know. We should go and find Cool Cat and see what he thinks. Yeah, Cool Cat loves kids and he'll help us. Man, you can't keep doing the same joke where you say you learn bullying's bad and then you bully the bully. You do that in like every Cool Cat video. Shut up, nerd. Well, bad the bully. What are you? Oh, I can't hit that. <laughs> Ugh. <coughs>